Yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Father God, thank you, thank you, thank you for always speaking. I know I say that a lot in most of these videos, Lord God, but I just say thank you because um, it, it's only because you love us and, and you you are concerned and you perfect that which concerns your children, your friends, your family. We are your family. We are one body in Christ, Lord God. And we just say thank you for sending your son um, in our place, Lord God, and for giving us and giving us new mercies um, and new grace and um, just a chance every day to get things right. A chance at life, Lord God, we just thank you for life everlasting um, and that we don't have eternal death. We don't have to fear death, Lord, Lord God, because you have given us eternal life, given us that gift. And all we have to do is profess your son as our Lord and Savior. We just say thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for these messages. Amen. So, y'all, um, I'm not feeling well at all. Even in the last video, I looked very tired and run down, and I'm feeling like that even now. Um, but... I have a word. Um, I believe God wants um, me to give that word. So that's what I'm here to do. Hopefully it's brief and straight to the point. Um, <coughs> okay, so I'm going to start. Okay. So today I'm driving and I come leave the salon. And I see a license plate. I want to tell you guys the order of which my, my evening went. I see a license plate and it says one of 1,000s. It could have even said one of 10,000s, depending on that extra O, right? Zero. So I didn't take a picture um, because I sometimes I feel like I don't want to look too much into everything. So I didn't take a photo like I usually do. And I'm like, okay, if anything, I will just remember it. I don't have to prove any, you know, proves anyone to believe me. I'll just remember what I saw. So I go grab something to eat for my daughter and I come out and then I see another license plate. And this time the license plate says latency, right? And I see the word, I'm like, I know they have, don't say latency because, you know, sometimes I do need glasses or sometimes my eyes can play tricks on me. But um, I was close enough to both license, license plates today to be able to tell. I was right behind them. There was no car in front of me or in between. So I was able to tell very much what it said. And it said latency. And I associated latency with lazy because that's just how my mind um, <sighs> defined the word. Not saying it's right, um, but that's just how, you know, sometimes you have a meaning for something and you don't know how you got that meaning. So that's in my mind, latency was kind of like lazy, like, you know, slow type of thing. Sluggish or whatever. So. I'm like, let me look it up. Let me not jump to conclusions. So I took this, the, the picture of it because I'm like, okay, I'm not going to let this truck get away from me. This license plate get away from me. So I took a picture. Boom. So I'm like, let me go look up what latency means. Like, what is the Lord trying to say if he's trying to say anything? So I look up the definition as I'm at a red light, of course. And it says the state of existing, but not yet being developed or manifest. Concealment. Okay. Um, the other says the state of disease, not yet manifesting the usual symptoms. Okay, um, and then it gives another definition. Well, that was an example, and then the other another definition is a computing definition. It says the delay before a transfer of data begins, following an instruct an instruction for its transfer. So I'm like, okay, God. So are you saying there's a delay? Like, you know, I was having a conversation conversation with a sister earlier. We were talking about, you know, what we can do and not do that would delay our process or hinder the process, or we want to remain blameless, stay out of the way. So I'm like, okay. I told her, you know, I wasn't having this sort of conviction in the matter of which I was um, moving. So I said, you know, God will give me a sign or not a sign. God will tell me. Like, I know when God's trying to tell me something. I know when he's trying to like, okay, you need to stop doing this or you need to do that or whatever. I'm like, yo, I just don't have that conviction yet. So I thought this was him telling me like, yo, I'm causing a delay because you're not listening or because you're doing what you want to do. Right. But that didn't settle. That didn't stick, right? So I said, um, okay, let me go look at the time that I first saw this license plate. And, you know, with iPhone, I don't know with any other phone, but with iPhone, you take a picture or take a video of anything, it automatically gives you a timestamp and date. I love it. So I went to the picture to see the time I took it, and not the time I took it was 6.03 p.m. So I looked up, and strong reads concordance was 6.03 meant, and it meant, it means, Apur Karadokia. And it means strained expectancy, right? Eager expectation, okay? Properly thinking forward, 
literally with the head outstretched, referring to eager, intense expectation, attentive expectation, okay? Um, applies to this term directly to each believer receiving a new, unique glorified body at Christ's return. Um, I should have probably didn't write that, but okay. This intense expectation fosters earnest longing to see Jesus, okay? So that's, this is the, the examples they're using, okay? And it says, let me continue, persistent expectation. So I'm like, okay, God, this sounds like the promise, you know? Um, then it says anxious. Um, and then it says earnest expectation. I don't know if I said that yet. Antis intense anticipation, earnest expectation, okay? In the sense of watching. So it's like, you know, you're waiting on this thing, right? So the the scripture that it gives is Revelations 10, 9. And that reads, So I went to the angel and asked him to give me the little scroll. He said to me, take it and eat it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth, it will be sweet as honey. So I said, God, okay, I know what that, you know, that scripture comes from. I've come across it before. Um, you know, to me, I look at it as the equivalent when you first uh, digest something or first receive something. Sometimes it doesn't taste good. It doesn't feel good. You know, when we get these promises, we don't feel good about it. We don't feel how, how good it looks. You know, things don't look um, as they're supposed to. But towards the end, it says, you know, Take it and eat it. It will turn your stomach sour, right? But in your mouth, it'll be as sweet as honey. Okay? So, a lot of these times, these these words and these promises is kind of hard to digest, right? And it doesn't feel good in our in our in our stomachs or whatever. When we first receive that word, though, when we first receive that food, um, you know, it tastes good. We're excited and we're happy or whatever. But you know. When it comes to di digesting and actually going through this process, you know, um, it can be it can be a little sour. It can be a little you're not so feeling good, right? And so, just to be clear, make sure I was thinking along the, the lines um, correctly. You know, God was downloading to me correctly. I looked at the cross references it gave, and it said. Jeremiah 15, 16, your words were found and I ate them. Your words became my joy and my heart's delight for I bear your name, O Lord, God of hosts. Ezekiel 2, 8 says, and you, son of man, listen to what I tell you. Do not be rebellious like the rebellious house. Open your mouth and eat what I give you. Okay, Ezekiel 3, 1, son of man, he said to me, eat what you find here. Eat this scroll and go and speak to the house of Israel. Okay, and it just keeps reiterating different um Things. Revelation 10, 10. So I took the small scroll from the angel's hand and ate it. And it was sweet as honey in my mouth when I had eaten it. My stomach had turned bitter. So again, this scroll that that um, the Bible is referring to, it's like getting the word. When you read something on the scroll, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's what I would think is text back then. You know, it's something to read. It's a description. It's the word, you know, a word. If you read a newspaper, if you read a telegram, you know, if you read a letter, you know, it's a, it's the word. And in, in the beginning was the word. And so this scroll, just like the promise that God has given us, it's a word that he gives us. And, you know, and it's sweet to to have in the beginning, but to go, to go through the process and actually digest and go through it, it can be a little, little bitter belly feeling, okay? So God was show, telling me that that part of that process, that's that's the that latency, that's the delay. That's the delay from it being sweet and being sour in your belly. Like there's a time um, uh, frame that is there, okay? And so God was, not, was, was showing me that it's not necessarily a delay. It's just telling you that there is a time, okay? There's a time where you're in this middle ground, okay? And just like um, the scripture, it says here, you know, when um when they took the word it was sweet as honey but in their belly you know it was it was it was sour it was bitter but i i relate that and i thought about the scripture of when a woman gives birth you know like during the labor pains you know it's painful she you know she she hates it she actually you know wish she never gone through this process but once she sees that baby once she sees that joy then it's like that fulfillment and that sweetness and that um happiness is there 
okay and so that's how god was dealing with me and i if you've seen my recent videos they've all been about birthing and births um as of late right so um <coughs> i look up 603 and strong concordance but this is uh the hebrew version if i'm not mistaken so there's greek and there's hebrew of the strong concordance so there's greek and now this is the hebrew the hebrew it says this is called anakwa okay and that means a crying a groaning okay um and it says a crying, a groaning, a shrieking, a sighing. Okay, and the scripture that they give for that is Psalm 79 11. And that reads, Let the groans of the prisoners come before you. According to your great power, preserve those doomed to die. So, how I was receiving and how God was, you know, downloading it to me was that this um, time of giving birth, this labor pain that you're going through, this, um, this, this brief uh, time, brief uh, 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 moment in time, this uh, uh, latency, um, what you're feeling is the the release of, of, of prisoners who were condemned and deemed um, to die and the Lord is saving them. And so many of us are feeling that um, I've had, you know, had conversations with, with friends and I've heard other prophetic voices on here talking about feeling actual pain. And so when I actually went to go look this up in the midst of looking this up on my phone, I felt the pain in my lower back. Like, and I haven't felt this pain before, like, unless it was like, um, while I was actually giving birth or having a horrible cycle, which, you know, happens, but has not happened in a very long time, probably years since I had that type of back pain from a cycle, maybe even three years tops. Um, so I was just feeling this this pain in, the, in my lower back, okay? And it was reminding me of feeling that pain. Um, you know, one of the first s symptoms or hints of you about to go in labor is that Braxton Hicks is, you know, along those lines, those, those type of pains, right? So God was saying, you know, they're feeling this pain because this is the time where this promise is coming to pass and become it's being birthed um but you're also this is also the time where prisoners are being released prisoners who were deemed to, doomed to die you know our god ordained spouses people who you know family members who the enemy wanted wanted to sift out of his wheat wanted to kill wanted to like keep as a prisoner you know keep behind bars keep in the in the, in the state of bondage a life of bondage a life of life of turmoil a life of destruction and chaos and um you know just a life filled with curses and uh shame and poverty and the enemy wanted to keep them there and so that's not happening because of our prayers because of our moanings and groanings and our utterance um to the lord you know it's in scripture it says um you know the the holy spirit sometimes we don't know what to pray so holy spirit will pray on on our behalf with moanings and groaning groanings okay so um a lot of us have been standing in the gap you know for our god of dang spouses and family members and stuff and i'm not one to ever call something a, a, a kingdom marriage word but i believe that this is the first video where i will proclaim and say that this is a kingdom marriage word because once i got to this part of researching what i feel like god was showing me i was then reminded of that first license plate that I saw and it read like I said one of one thousands and it was literally the number one OF of and then it said a thousand and it's possible it could have even said ten thousand but either way you put it it is scripture and I have that to back it up so when I was when I saw right when I first saw that license plate I'm thinking about when when they when the people used to uh glorify David over Saul and they would say yeah Saul killed one thousands but David killed, killed ten thousands you know it's, it's when the, it's when Saul started being jealous of David because the people in the city you know was glorifying all the works that David had done but even though he did the works through the Lord but they were like yeah David slayed the, they like, Saul slayed a thousand but David slayed ten thousand so I was thinking about that scripture right so I typed it in you know trying to see what else would come up and a couple of scriptures came up and it says Joshua 23 10 says one of you um each one of you will put a flight of a thousand of the enemy for the Lord your God fights for you just as he promised so ju it just takes one of us to defeat um a thousand of of the enemies you know just how I said Saul for Saul slaved a thousand like many of us is it's going to be you know that one you know slaying a thousand and that's because of, that's what the Lord had promised us and that's what he fights for for us okay um another scripture says uh where is it at I have not seen it I have to look up where it actually came from but it says that one of us can chase I think a thousand, yet two of us can chase 
ten thousands and then it goes back to having that concept of being stronger together okay the bible says now here i have it right here deuteronomy 32 20 bible says one shall chase a thousand and two shall chase ten thousands okay um and that's going to show you that god was showing saying to me like you were slaying the thousands you know what i'm saying in my name but i'm calling your your better half your other half you know your soul um mate your the god ordained person i ordained you to be with your help me you're the help me to them you guys can conquer you know with, with more by being together it's stronger together okay and there's another scripture that says how can um one keep warm by itself is better for them to be two people. You know what I'm saying? Scripture always is saying, um, even in the beginning with Adam, it is not good for man to be alone. You know what I'm saying? That's why he um, created Eve because he saw that, you know, Adam being alone was not good. Okay. So God never, um, almost always is two by two. And I've even heard um, another prophetic voice on here talk about God um, sending us out two by two or whatever. And it's like, even with Noah, you know, when he was getting the animals, he was getting two of each kind, you know, it's, um, it's, it's better to be with um, who God chose for you um, than to be trying to do things yourself. And granted, we don't want to wait. Um, you know, we don't want to delay anything, but you have to obey what God is telling you to do at the moment, whether that's getting a house, getting a car, um, going forward with the business plan. And like I said in the dreams before, God will catch the other person up. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a matter of you just waiting. But when that person does catch up, you're going to conquer conquer so much and like i said um in the previous video i think before this god has given me dreams as of late of me and my god ordained spouse of like elevation con you know um, elevation um as well as expansion i got two dreams uh, back to back two nights in a row of showing like us owning properties and buildings and um flying and helicopters and just like it's just showing like a level that we have never seen, never been, you know, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it entered in the hearts of man what they, what God has for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Like, and I hope that I didn't mix scriptures together, but his word is the word and it's the truth. So with, regardless of the fact, he's saying like, we don't even know what he has for us, you know? Um, we only see the tip of the iceberg, you know, even with the, with these dreams and with these words we get, we know in part, we prophesy in part, you know? Um, so again, two are two is better than one and so that's what god was telling me and so right now we are in the middle of it's not necessarily to go back to the latency word right um latency yes it's sort of a delay but it's not really a delay it's just the time in which again and i'll say that again the amount of time it takes for a data packet to go from one place to another that's what the network right with the internet we know that the internet is you know ideally the speed of light granted back in the day you know you know internet could have been slow took hours whatever but it's ideally um to work at the speed of light but that speed of light um that's still a time time frame, still a time gap. You know what I'm saying? It's still a, a, a brief part of latency, whether it's short or 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 um you know long. But it says like latency doesn't work with um it doesn't work the way that which we think. It says there are two types of network latency: high latency and low latency. Since latency refers to a time delay, a good network latency would be a low latency. Okay, that's good when it's low. A higher the higher the response um time high latency the worse the connection and the longer the um the 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 latency or the the signal will go right so catch that um the higher the response so the quicker something happens it's, it's shown with the latency the worse the connection is and the longer it takes okay a good network of latency would be low latency okay so it doesn't work in the way that we think okay when i saw latency i thought oh man it's lazy slow sluggish you know and god was saying no keep going keep going that's not what i'm saying because latency at the end of the day um especially when it comes to internet it's the speed of light right but when we think something is is slow and, st and staggering with latency is actually right really, really quick and it's going to be so fast like we're in this birthing season and we're going to go from that time that we go from um waiting expecting how i told, told you earlier um that expecting okay that um that earnest expectation that intense anticipation okay that from in the sense of watching okay that time frame is going to go relatively quickly and we're going to go from um 
you know, where we had this word that God gave us, this scroll that he gave us. And it was mm, good in our mouths, with our belly, we made it sick. Like we had to go to digest, we had to use the bathroom, we had to go through the process to get this out, to birth um, this promise, right? And so once we got that word, okay, it went from that. Um, let me scroll up. <clears throat> It went from that to us actually being in labor where we're shrieking and we're groaning, okay? Um, because now that our prisoners, prisoners that we are standing in the gap for, you know, God our name spouses, the promises that God gave us has been set free, okay? They're being set free. Those who were deemed to die, the enemy who declared, the enemy declared these people dead, the walking dead, okay? In, in Ezekiel 37, you know, for most of us, I know God has given me Ezekiel 37 for almost this entire journey. And God was saying, you know, will these, will these dry bones live and Ezekiel said Lord only you know and God was asking basically a rhetorical question to see what you're going to say about it but he already spoke a thing he already said this they were going to live okay even though the enemy deemed these things deemed these people to die deemed this job to die deemed, deemed this opportunity to die okay deemed whatever it is in your life that the enemy has called to and deemed it to die God said it's not so not so. And you are the one that is going to stand in the gap and have stood in the gap and birthed this promise and, and stood there and birthed these people out of their out of their prisons. OK. And again, like I said, God brought this back all to, yes, a kingdom marriage word, because while we're doing all that we are doing and God is elevating us with just the one of us, when we join with these these God ordained spouses, these people that God has called us, these you know, we go from chasing the 1,000 to we're going to chase 10,000s with, you know, our guardian spouse, okay? And this period, again, of latency, it doesn't mean a delay per se. It's just referring to the time in between getting the promise and God executing, getting the promise and you birthing the promise, getting the promise and then these people being free who were deemed to die, okay? Um, and pretty much, I mean... I hope you get what Holy Spirit gave me because even as I'm delivering this now, I'm just getting more and more downloads. And it's just like, at first when I got it, I, like I said, I didn't understand it. I thought he was saying delay. And God was like, no, keep going. Keep keep looking what I'm trying to say. Yes, latency can be looked at as delay. But number one, latency, especially when we're talking about an internet connection, um, the low latency thing that you think is low is actually quite better. So again, you don't want to, um, you don't want to, rush your food you don't want to put it in the microwave because it won't be good you know what i'm saying the slow cooking the the baking the grilling you know what i'm saying the taking the time to make sure the food is prepared right um i think my my friend even said the you know talk about baking a cake and we hear that reference all the time but it's just bringing me back to the, you know conversations i've had during the day today you know that baking of the cake um sure you can have it you know when it's freshly done and hot and ready but like it's probably gonna drop let it cool down let it let it settle you know what i'm saying like it's not that it's not done it's here we are already here you know what i'm saying it's just a matter of this brief latency this brief period the period from what god said to it being birth is here it's right now like that 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 part is happening right now so again i released videos um the word recently about the end of a thing and how God gave me the the date for five fourteen being the end of this uh this process that I was going through with my prodigal and now that that has come to an end that now my the birthing of my restoration can begin so yeah that ending had happened but there was still a time frame between the ending and that birthing and that is what that latency phase was it's just it doesn't mean that the latency is long but we have to give a name for the time frames. Okay, you can't just jump from um one plus one to two. You can't just jump to two. You know what I'm saying? You gotta add that one. And so latency is the name of that one. Not that it's taking longer. We just gotta name it something. And so God is saying like, I'm not telling you there's a delay. I'm saying that that's what this is called. This season that you're in, that time frame before from the from the here and the now, from the from then to the now, that is the that is the time frame that I'm talking about. And we are here at that phase where we're about to just leap and give birth. And I told you it's multiple births. Okay. These promises that we've birthed have been birthing or already birthed is leading to multiple births. Okay. Um 
I hope this message again finds you well. I hope this, you know, this fell on the right ears. It was supposed to um, let Holy Spirit break this down to you. However, it needs to be broken down to you again. Um, again, everything that I said has scripture behind it. Go look at it. Read, read it for yourself. See what God is saying to you. And I'm just really tripping on this word latency. And like I said, I took a picture of it. That'll probably be the um, the actual thumbnail for it. Um, but yeah, it's the state of existing but not yet being developed or manifest, right? So it's just that state that it was in and not saying the state is going to continue, not saying we're going to continue with the delay. We're just saying that's what it was. That's where we were at. That's where we are at. And it's about to switch. Like that it's not saying it's a, it's, it's happening. It happened. We're here. It's happening. Like, okay. Not that it's, um, it's slow. Okay, it's not saying it's a delay, it's just telling us latency that's the time frame before from getting the signal to the signal transferring. Okay, from getting that word to the, it being man and made manifest. Okay, it's just the name for that time frame that we're at. I hope that makes sense. I try to say it and, and explain it as best as I could, as best as I knew how. Um, what the Lord was giving me, and I know that He's probably going to give me more because unfortunately, that's what happens even later on. I get more, and maybe I can come back and share it, but anyway. For the sake of timing, I just want to say, you know, thank you for, you know, tuning in. Um, but all glory to God. And I hope this message applies and, and it pacifies those it's supposed to uh, pacify. But we are here. We are here. Okay. Um, there's no more waiting that the latency is here. Like that that time frame that has passed. So birthing is, is, is coming. Okay. You guys have a good night.